What's up everyone, welcome back to another Figma review and today's Figma EX25 Saber Dress Version from Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. And this is a 2015 Winter Wonder Festival exclusive. The box looks awesome in saber colors, that's blue, white, and metallic gold. There's the picture on the left hand side of the box, there's the picture on the right hand side of the box, the top, and there is the bottom. As usual, on the back there's some pictures of the figure in action, and to the window in the front of the box there's the figure, two alternate faces, alternate hair parts, as well as Excalibur and a bamboo sword. So now it's time to bust this thing open and see what we've got. And the DI stage section in there is the same color as the box. So just like what we've seen from outside of the box, that saber, two alternate faces and hair part, Excalibur and the bamboo sword. In the bottom of the box then is the Figma bag, stand, base and rack of alternate hands as well as the instructions. A little different than usual, Japanese on this side, English on this side and all the parts are listed out on this side here. So on to the main event, the figure itself. So here is Saber dress version out of the box. And what we've got here is essentially a version of Saber without her armor. So gone is the breastplate, gauntlets, side skirting armor and the boots. And now what we've got here is a much simpler looking and much more delicate looking Saber. The shoulder sections we recognize from Saber 2.0 but now we can move down a bit further. Where there was gauntlets we now have some nice gold detailing down the forearm and around the cuff. And here as well we've got some nice lace. Around to the front of the dress and we've got some matte white with some silver buttoning but there is a bit of a sloppy paint job right here on these strings which sadly really does draw the eye. Moving down towards the dress and again in blue, gold and white but unlike Saber 2.0 this isn't broken up into segments and is one whole piece. Aesthetically this does look great as there's no joints or splits in the plastic to be seen anywhere. But as to how this will affect the articulation, I guess we'll see later on. Like I said, gone are the greaves, and instead we've got some brown boots with some nice button detail down the side. Moving now to the face, and as usual with a Figma, the detailing is awesome, especially on those eyes. The hair just like Saber 2.0 in that nice matte yellow, but I have to say I'm not digging the way the hair looks when it's not tied up. To be honest, all I think when I see this hair is Vince Neil from Motley Crue. I mean it really does look odd when it's down. But thankfully the alternate dynamic hair parts looks much, much better. This is going to be the one I keep on her. So here is Saber with everything that she comes with. 8 alternate hands, 2 alternate faces, alternate hair parts, a spare wrist joint, Excalibur and the bamboo sword. As for hands with the default fists, some open palmed hands, standard Figma holding hands, as well as some widespread open hands. As for the last two hands, this one here on the right, just like with Saber 2.0, is her leaning on the sword like this. Just like she is here on the box with the bamboo sword. This one here on the left seems to be for using in this particular pose. The bamboo sword looks very nice with a very simple handle, brown on the guard there, the bamboo in a very light brown, some white here where it's tied together, as well as on this end right here. Excalibur's scabbard in metallic copper, metallic gold, some white here, the design on here looks absolutely perfect and as far as I can see this is identical to the one you get with Saber version 2.0. So there is the default face, referred to as a gentle smile on the good smile side, a gallant expression and the last face is this big bright smile. As for the dynamic hair parts, this is essentially a full head without the face. So just stick a face in there and it's a full alternate head. And this alternate dynamic hair looks amazing and there is that alternate head and I have to say this does look superb and this is the one I am keeping on it. The sculpt here is just excellent. So excellent I actually recognize it from somewhere. And that's from here Saber 2.0. The front section of the hair is pretty much identical. Besides Saber 2.0's Ahoge looking that little bit bigger, they pretty much do look the same. So yeah as you can see they're very very similar almost identical. But that does lead me to my next question. Are the faces and heads interchangeable? So off with the hair, off with 2.0's hair, off with the face, off with the face, and let's see. So far, so good, and that seems to work. So now we have a happy Saber 2.0 and an angry Saber dress version. So now can we switch the entire head? Let's find out. And there you have it, you can swap the entire heads. For Saber 2.0 with her hair down, and Saber dress version with her hair tied up. A great but limited set of accessories here. 
but it's totally worth it just because you can swap the heads. But I really don't recommend trying to use the bamboo sword with Saber 2.0, as that metallic silver paint does transfer. Moving on to articulation and from the head down. There is the head all the way to the front, all the way to the back. As you can see, it is restricted towards the back because of that hair. Rotation to the left and to the right, and again, a bit limited because of that hair. And as for that side to side tilt, that's pretty good. Next articulation at the shoulder, and there it is all the way up. There's the rotation all the way around. The bend at the elbow, and that is pretty damn good. As this version has no gauntlets, there is no extra articulation at the forearm here. And as for the wrist, there it is all the way down, all the way up, and that can rotate around as well. Articulation now at the torso, and there's the crunch all the way to the front, so there really is next to nothing there. All the way to the back, and you get a little bit. So again, all the way to the front, all the way back. So very, very little there. As for side to side crunch, not much there either. Seems like mainly what you get at this joint is rotation. Next, at the waist, there's a bit of movement of the dress, as well as the legs. As this dress is all one big segment, it's not split up into moving parts like with Sabre 2.0, so I don't expect to get a whole lot out of the legs down here. For example, that's it all the way to the front, that's it all the way back, there they are all the way out, and you're also not going to get much out of the knee in here either. There always is a trade-off between aesthetics and the articulation, and seems this time Max Factory decided to go with aesthetics. As this dress is all one section, it does look really good, but in turn it does significantly affect the overall possibility of the figure. Next onto the ankle, and there's all the way down, all the way up. That can rotate side to side, and probably all the way around, yes it can. There's the side to side tilt, and finally, the toes can bend. Saber 2.0 was an absolute posing machine, with fantastic articulation, and that may be because it has so much armor to hide all of those joints. However, with the dress version, Max Factory seems to have gone for a lot of seamless parts, which does look really good, but it leaves her with very limited articulation. So now moving on to quality, and what can I say, this is a great figure, but it just isn't quite up to the usual Figma standards. As for the paint, for the most part, it's that great Max Factory matte paint for the blue and the white, as well as the yellow of the hair and the brown of the boots. And not to forget that fantastic metallic gold. But this thing is riddled with paint errors, like right here, on those strings on the front of her top. The paintwork there is so sloppy. There's also multiple other paint fudge-ups all around this, particularly on the gold sections. As for the sculpt, again, it's great for the most part. Standard, forgivable mold lines here and there, but the seam line where the hair parts meet on the dynamic hair lines up quite badly and leaves a big nasty gap. As for the joints, they're all perfect and all good and strong, but as the dress is made of one solid piece, some may not like how limited the leg articulation is due to that dress. As for other issues, my gallant face is so tight, it's really hard to get on, and when it does, it just doesn't go on all the way and you can see right through to the other side. And this just makes that hair seam look 10 times worse. There's also a lot of nasty paint mess ups on the chest up here. Trying to pull off this pose right here really highlights everything that's wrong with this figure. For one thing, it's using the gallant face that doesn't fit right and makes the hair look even worse. The hand which holds the sword holds it so loose that it just slips out. And not just that, the hand itself looks pretty bad. I will note that the other hand isn't that bad, so it may just be a fudge up with that particular one. But what I really don't understand is how she's holding that scabbard right there. There doesn't seem to be a hand included for holding it, and if it is this hand here with the little hole in the palm, I really can't find any way of making her hold that. It just won't attach which seemingly makes that pose impossible to pull off. I do get the impression that all these quality issues are just down to this being rushed to be ready for Wonder Festival. So maybe, just maybe, these won't be there on those released from the online store later this year. Here's hoping. So that is it for my review of the 2015 Winter Wonder Festival exclusive Saber Dress version. A really good figure without a doubt, but sadly not up to the usual high Figma standard. There are far too many quality issues here. It's not like Max Factory to have this many quality issues. If you were to ask me which do I prefer between the dressed version and 2.0, 
I would say the 2.0, hands down. But having both means you have the option to switch their hair, faces and accessories, which is awesome. This one really is just for the fans and collectors. If you're a fake fan, then go for it. If not, I do recommend staying away. So that's it for my review, thank you very much for watching and make sure to come back for more Figma reviews. See you next time.